Hi again, welcome to another video. And uh, this is an overview of the Picascope. And I'm primarily using the um, Picascope uh, 2208B uh, MSO, which is a, looks a little bit like this, um, but is equally applicable to the uh, ones that my students have used, which is the 2204A, uh, which is the lower end scope, but perfectly uh, applicable to most electronic experiments. Now, what we do in this video is we're going to look at downloading the software um, and also the default state that the uh, Picascope software opens up in so that you can actually see it from uh, starting conditions. This is just to get you started and to uh, get start looking at signals as quickly as possible, which is undoubtedly where you want to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the software and find the manual. Now, the, it's better um, to make sure you don't connect your Picascope 2000 um, oscilloscope to your laptop at this stage. Just download your software first and then connect it once you've got uh, the software downloaded. So let's connect up our Picascope before we actually run the application. So let me just show you what my setup is here. This is the Picascope 2000 uh, series. This is the 2208B MSO. And I've got two channels connected. Um, and uh, this is a digital input um, uh, of the of this particular version of the scope, and this is the uh, signal generator output, um, which I'm not actually going to. That's a separate video, and so we'll talk about that at a, a different time. And and here I've got uh, my two scope probes. Both of these uh, scope probes have been set to times ten. Uh, let me just show you the rest of the setup. Um, so here. Um, uh, you'll see a signal generator and I've got two channels uh, connected to it, uh, channel A and channel B. And on channel A, I've got a sinusoid of one kilohertz, one volt peak to peak. And on the second channel, let me just uh, read off what I've got on the ch second channel. I've got one megahertz, five volt digital slight signal, um, uh, not five volts. And it's got an offset of uh, 2.5 volts, uh, which is really useful to demonstrate certain things to you. Um, so, uh, let's see, they come out and they go into my scope probes and you'll notice that I've uh, connected the ground leads uh, to each channel. So there's my uh, channel two, uh, sorry, my channel two, yes, my channel two, which has got a red um, sleeve marker on it, which I talk about in the other video associated with scope probes. And equally, you'll see the um, red uh, marker sleeve on here on uh, channel B of my scope. And similarly, um, you'll see the blue marker sleeve here and uh, that's going to channel one of my scope and that's going to, there's a blue marker sleeve and that's going to channel A on my scope. Um, and so you'll see the USB connection here going through and goes into my laptop like that, okay? And so what we're now going to do is we're now going to uh, start up the software and I'm going to start up my um, application here. Now, if you've connected your Picascope uh, to your laptop, it will know what device it's using and talking to, and therefore will set everything up as it needs to for that particular device, okay? So, uh, and here is the default uh, screen. The default starts with channel A uh, is um, active, channel B will be off, the time base is uh, set to one millisecond uh, per division, the triggering by default is set to one volt, um, and these are other areas of things we're going to talk in other videos. Uh, we're going to look at the digital uh, inputs in another video, the signal generator in another video, and a lot of all of this, um, these are the different features that are available to you, like measurements and um, maths calculations and stuff like this and serial decoding. These are all separate videos because they're, they're too involved and too important just to put into one, one long video. Um, so they're going to be separated out into other videos. But the most important thing here is to get you started, okay? And then we're gonna look at this in a lot more detail.